Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rob's video blog here in my Mazda 3 once again. So uh, it's around Christmas time and uh, I just want to talk about two things related to Christmas. The first is Christmas lights. So I've been living in my house for three Christmases, four Christmases, something like that, three or four Christmases. And every year I've slowly accumulated a little bit more uh, Christmas decoration for the outside of the house, a little bit more Christmas lights. I got the icicles, uh, I got lights that go down my handrails. And this year we got a um, kind of a, a, a woven stick, um, what would you call it, uh, Frosty the Snowman with uh, light up Frosty the Snowman and some candy canes. So I put that out and it's, it's coming together, it's getting a little bit better. We still gotta put something over the top of the doorway to really kind of complete the lower level. And then I think when, uh, uh, when I get the gutter guy to come and clean out the gutters, um, I think I'm going to have him put some hooks on the gutters and then get a really, really long pole so I can just stick the, uh, stick the lights on the, uh, on the hooks and I can put lights up towards the top of my house. So it's coming together a little bit at a time. Can't do it all at once uh, in one year. So uh, slowly, progressively uh, getting there. But one of the new things now is the, uh, the lasers. So they have like... Uh, you know, these red green lasers uh, that people put, they, you put them on your lawn and you shine them and they, they scatter red and green dots all over your house. Now, I have one of those in my basement and it's kind of used for like a club effect. So when I have my um, uh, Halloween party, we dim the lights and we play the music and stuff like that. We put, the, uh, put that thing on and it kind of adds to the, adds to the whole situation. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I, I got to be honest, these things on the houses, I, I really don't like the way they look. Um, it, it, people are using them as like a cop out for not having to, like as a way to not have to put lights on your house. Like it just, it's not a replacement for Christmas lights. It's an, an enhancement. So there's a house down the street from me that actually has like a big green spotlight and a big green and a big red spotlight that they put streaking up both sides of the house and they have a little bit of lights and then they put the red green laser on the house and it looks cool because they like it's part of the whole presentation looks nice i like that but i just drive around and i see people they just go they buy this 25 five dollar laser thing they park it on the front of their grass and it's like oh i'm done now i have these red and green dots on my house and it just it's lazy it looks stupid i almost would prefer them to just not put anything you know it's like if you're going to do something you know do it at least halfway decent i'm not saying you got to be the best but do at least halfway decent or, or just don't, don't do it at all because it just, it looks half-assed and it, it looks it looks dumb. It, it looks dumb in my opinion. I think it's a really cool addition. If you've got other decorations, you've got other lights, I think it, it does uh, add to the effect. But um, it'd be like if you came in my basement and I turned the laser light on but didn't play any music. You'd be like, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? This is this is weird. So uh, it's that's, that's the way I feel about that. Uh, not, not, not a big fan. Um, cool effect when you add it to other things, but you got to do, uh, you got to do a little bit more than that. Uh, the, the other thing too, just in general, you know, and maybe it's cause you, when you're a kid, you know, you, everything is, you remember things pretty much completely different from when you were a kid than what, what it actually was. You know, you're a small person, you know, you have no idea for the scale of the planet. You have no time, you have no real concept of time scale or anything like that. So you have a tendency to, you know, things have a tendency to be bigger. Uh, there has a tendency to be more of something that you remember when you were a kid. But as a kid growing up, so with that, with that in mind, as a kid growing up, I can remember like maybe every other or every third house having Christmas lights. And like now it's like I drive around and there's literally like every 25th house has Christmas lights. And it's kind of crappy. It's like, you know, it was, it was really, really cool. You know, the luminaries, too. When I was a kid, like, all the blocks around where I lived used to have luminaries. They used to take little paper bags, fill them with sand, put the candles in them, um, and put them out at the curb and stuff like that. And it was the effect was, it was really, really cool. Really, really cool looking thing. And now, even if I go back to that same area that I grew up when I was a kid, because I don't live in exactly the same area, but if I go back to that same area, it's not, there's, nobody does it. Nobody does it anymore. In fact, it was like the Boy Scouts that used to sell the little, the little uh, bag. They used to sell you a little, 
little package of bags and little tea light candles um, for you to put in there. I don't know if they sold you the sand too, probably not. Uh, but we used to do that, and as a kid, I used to love seeing that. And like I said, there was a lot of people that participated. I can remember there were streets by my house where the entire street was lined. Every house had them all the way down. It was like just lights down the avenue. It was really, really, really cool. And uh, it's kind of sad. You don't see that cool stuff going on anymore. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's indicative of, uh, you know, social cohesion breaking down or, or what it is or if people just aren't into Christmas anymore. Um, people are, I guess, probably, people definitely are less religious than they were when I was a kid, um, which... I don't know, maybe a good or a bad thing. I don't. Not, not purpose of this is not to not to comment on that. That's a long, uh, intense conversation. Um, but you know, when it comes to traditions and it comes to Christmas, you know, St. Patrick's Day, Halloween, whatever it is, and it's probably a little bit more apparent in Halloween. You can people can realize this in Halloween. When it comes to like traditions and stuff like that. Um, the amount of fun that you have and the amount that you enjoy it is the amount that you would like get into it, is the amount that you surround yourself with it, is the amount that you, you really take part in it, you, you, you actively engage in it. You know, if, if when Halloween rolls around, if you don't decorate your house and you don't dress up or you do a half-assed costume, like, you're not going to have that much fun. It's not going to be that awesome. But if you go all out decorating your house, you make your own costume, you go to a costume party, you go to a haunted house or a hayride, and you carve pumpkins, and you watch scary movies. You're, like Halloween's a lot of fun. You're gonna have a blast. And that's what I remember as a kid about Christmas, going to Catholic school. Once Advent started, oh geez, excuse me. Once Advent started, um, that was it. Like everything in the whole school was Christmas. We made Christmas decorations. You know, everything that we learned in religion class was around, you know, Christmas and the birth of Jesus. We went to church. We practiced for the uh, the, uh, the Christmas concert. We would sing songs. The first graders would do the nativity scenes. I mean, it was just we had the Christmas bazaar to raise money for the school. The youth group would sell Christmas trees. So you were just around it all the time. And it was just such a blast. All the activities that you would do were all Christmas themed at school. Your art projects were Christmas themed. You know, all the teachers would, would, would tailor their, their lessons. I remember even math, you know, counting Christmas trees and multiplying stockings and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, and it was a blast. It was a lot of fun because you were around it and you were in it and you were participating all the time. Even if you didn't really, you know, believe in, you know, Jesus and, and the whole, the whole thing. Just, just taking part in the traditions and, and getting into it and singing and, and baking cookies and doing gingerbread houses and all the fun stuff. When you really get into it, that's when it's fun. That's when it becomes a lot of fun. So it's a little disheartening to see people not decorating the trees, to see people not putting out the luminaries and doing stuff like that because they're just, I, I guess they're just too busy doing other things. And I myself in previous years have been that way. And listen, I'm still not, you know, head first into it, but you know, I put, I, you know, I usually listen to podcasts on my way to work and stuff like that. Now, at least on my way to work, when I'm not doing this video blog, uh, I turn on 106.7. I listen to Christmas music. I put the Christmas music, Christmas music on around the house. We went to get the Christmas tree. We put the Christmas tree up. I put the Christmas lights out. We had friends over to make gingerbread houses. Um, we just went to the Festival of Lights at Roselle Catholic last night to hear their choir sing and, and, and the show and stuff like that. And it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And we took the baby to, uh, we took Calista to get her picture taken. She did not like it at all. She was terrified of Santa. Um, but, uh, you know, aside from that, you know, you, the more, like I said, the more stuff that you do, the more fun it is, the more you get into it, the more that you'll enjoy it. So, uh, you know, get out there, get into Christmas and not even just Christmas, any kind of holiday, any kind of tradition, anything at all, you know, like uh, even when it comes to sports, you know, um, when I was a kid, I used to follow hockey a lot. I used to watch almost every Devils game. And I used to like hockey because the Devils game started at like 7.05 and they were over by like 9 o'clock, 9.30. So I didn't have to stay up late. Um, I wouldn't be tired the next day at school to watch the hockey game. So I got really into hockey. And the year that the Devils won the Stanley Cup, I was actually at Game 4 when they won the Stanley Cup at home. I was in the second to last row. Uh, my Uncle Jeff uh, took me and my brother, and it was awesome. One of the coolest experiences of my entire life. Definitely 
one of the top two uh, athletic experiences that I've ever been a part of. Really, really cool. Um, but it was it was that awesome because I was into it because I followed them the whole season. I watched all the games, all the games. I was up on all the players, all that kind of stuff. And I even myself with football. You know, I'm a Jet fan uh, and a Rutgers fan, unfortunately. Um, and I used to used to watch the games religiously. It was tradition with my father and my mother, my brother, and we used to get together. We used to watch the Jet game, and then when my brother and I went to uh, went to college, we watched the Rutgers game on Saturday. Unfortunately, both teams are so brutally terrible that I just can't watch them. You say, "Go ahead, say I'm not a fan," but they're they're they're, they're that bad. They can't even compete. Um, so I really haven't watched them. So I'm I'm not into it. So you know, am I gonna when the Super Bowl rolls around? I'm not going to be that into the Super Bowl because I haven't really followed it. Um, so uh, get into things, get involved, uh, have fun with traditions, stuff like that. Oh, and the other thing, too, is I have a St. Patrick's Day party every year. We'll probably have another one this year. This year, we are going to sing. We are going to sing Irish songs. I'm going to have music sheets or I'm going to put it up on the screen, the lyrics, kind of a um, karaoke style with the music in the background, but we are going to sing Irish songs. We're going to drink, we're going to be merry, and we're going to sing the songs because singing songs, especially when you've had something to drink, is a lot of fun. You know, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of corny and, you know, people are like, oh, you know, get embarrassed singing and stuff like that, but when everybody's into it, when everybody's drinking, when everybody's having a good time, when everybody's singing, it's a blast. So we're going to do that. Um, and uh, that's that's pretty much all I have to say on that. So... Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you again next time.